allowing Fubra to rest as the governor of River State. The wiki is only trying to demarket our party. Oh! <laughs> But how will you explain the saga between Wike and Fubra, the governor of River State? The only explanation to that is psychotic disorderliness. <laughs> but I don't understand that big Oyibo. The only explanation to that is that um, he's um, having some problem upstairs. Oh, imagine! Can this kind of person be a mentor to anybody in the society? Wike is the mentor of Yaya Belu. You don't mean it. <laughs> yes, Owuke gave him an award. Celebrated Yaya Bello and gave him an award. Oh! But how will you rate Yaya Bello after Owuke gave him an award? Yaya Bello, the worst governor in the history of this country, the worst governor in the history of Kogi State, whose performance is F9 parallel. Oh! Come, come, come. So Owuke and Bello are one. And he has educated Yaya Bello that come. I have given my governorship ticket to my accountant general. Because that is the only way your crime can be protected. Oh, really? And that is exactly what I heard Yaya Bello too is trying to do now in Kogi State too. To appoint his accountant general as his gubernatorial mandate. But one thing is that God is above man. Oh, okay. So Wike is the one teaching Bello to be above the law of Nigeria. No, no way. Are you not surprised that Yaya Bello and Wiki have the same tangential, they have the same motive? You think? <laughs> yeah, 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 do you? Eh, but they say you are like Governor Bello of Kogi State now. Nah? Instead of me to be, instead of me to be that kind of governor, let me not be elected as a governor. Oh no! So we cannot say that Wiki is better than all the governors that Kogi State has ever produced. A governor who wears blue on yellow, yellow on green, ah. at times with purple, <coughs> who does not have a dress sense, who does not know what the time is globally today. Ha! <laughs> oh, this violence is too much. So what is your advice to Wiki now? So my only advice for you, some Wiki, uh -huh. and I'm doing this from a Christian perspective as a child of God, because we need to educate people who are not normal. We need to pray for them, we need to counsel them, we need to advise them. And as a counselor in the celestial realm, my advice for Wiki is that when you drink, don't talk. When you talk, don't drink. This <laughs> this <is> bad. <laughs> I beg, give him another advice. And I also will advise him. Instead of him to concentrate on how he's going to face life outside government, because already he's on his way to prison. In fact, we case prison uniform will have embroidery because of the way he has stolen the resources and patrimony of the reverse people. No wonder we cannot move on to development. No wonder. <laughs> Jagaman! Eh? Yeah. Uh, welcome to my Bush interview. Thank you very much for having me. This man! <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't mention we are not together. Don't mention we are not together. <laughs> Do you know that there is hardship in Nigeria? Yes. There is hardship. Oh! So you are even aware of the hardship? Yes. What are they doing here? Say question, no. Not be your party APC carry us rich here. What did we do? Ah! Almost see me see silly question, no. But you promised Nigerians that you will do better than Buhari. Mission 20, that. Ha. Eh, eh, eh. Now your second tenor, you go change things for Nigeria. Yes. Oh! <laughs> but how many people you think say go vote for you in 2027? All of you. God have mercy upon us. God help me not that day. God help me. God help me. God help me not that day.
Sí. No. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for watching that bush interview. Hope you like it. All you have to do is like the video, share for me, let it go viral. You understand now? Okay, we are together. Only if you share the video, we are together. It will be only all this. Ah, Bush interview will be small name now. It will be big name. We are big name. So I was trying to shoot there. The guy started calling me from upstairs. Bush interview. I'm your fan. I'm from Nasarawa State, but I came here in Abuja. I came here to, uh, to do work. So Nasoy be. Even if we enter market, but we know they live celebrity life. We know they do. I know they go outside, go carry bouncers, carry soldiers, carry go rent cars, rent different cars. They go outside. I know they do that kind of thing. You know why? Because once you start doing that kind of thing as a content creator, enemies go begin to put eyes on you. You get. Even when I enter Portacourt. I did trek. A lot of people were like, hey, which interview? You are not supposed to be walking alone. You are a celebrity. They will kidnap you. This, when you give kidnappers that impression that you are a celebrity, you have, they will know that you have money. You don't, you don't walk alone. You walk with bouncers. Some people, some celebrities may even be staying in one bedroom, one room, one room, toilet and small kitchen. And if they want to go out, they will rent. Uh, Prado, they will rent Benz, they will rent it from where they rent cars and go out with it, giving enemies that impression that yes, they are rich. Do you understand? A celebrity having over 100,000 followers on Facebook, or a content creator having 100,000 followers on Facebook, 50 subscribers on YouTube, earning just $50 in a, in a month, is carrying bouncer. It's carrying security around. Anyway, we go, we go carry security. You're giving people the wrong impression that you have money. And by the time they come for you, you will be the one to face it. I go into all the bush by myself. Not that I'm not conscious of kidnappers and all of that. I'm conscious. But I don't give people wrong impression that uh, I have money because I have 2,000, uh, 200 and something thousand subscribers on them. Um, on Facebook, uh, getting to one million followers, or uh, on uh, on uh, on TikTok, uh, having hundred thousand subscribers, or going to hundred thousand subscribers on YouTube, or followers, two hundred something thousand followers on Facebook. I don't give them that kind of wrong impression because I know that I don't have money. The only money I have is the money I use in eating, to eat food. I don't have money to impress anybody. I don't have money. If I go to shop right, if you see me push interview, fine. We take picture. Like this one is saying he would like to take picture with me. If there was a road now from that estate, we would have taken pictures. And that's it. You don't have to give people wrong impression. After now, he go see me say, he go say, he don't see me before. Now only me come push, come shoot. Uh, the guy in thing saying they live for big estate self. He don't know saying I push the guy, they say, I like him like that. Because he's saving me. Small fame will just enter your hand. You don't carry a bouncer, you don't carry security. You don't go right into one army, make it they guide you up and down. Eh, as the army they guide you in, they guide your parents for village. What if they don't see you? They go carry your parents. If you, if you bring out 10 million for them to bail your parents when they kidnap your parents for living fake life, a lot of people don't know the dangers of living online fake life. Like the, the other person that they kidnap, that they are asking for big ra ransom now. How is he going to get the ransom? The reason they kidnap him was because he was living online fake life. The people that kidnap him thought he has money. The kind of money he mentioned, the kind of motto he flags online. But when they went to his house, there was nothing like that. Do you understand? I want to go out now instead of me. A lot of people be like, I saw you in Kapusa today. I saw you in this place today. I saw you on top of bike. I saw you. Who told you that it's a crime for somebody that has followers online to be using bike? It's not a crime. Even if it's a, it's a crime to other people, it's not a crime to me. I jump on Okada, I enter Keke. 
even if I want to go to somewhere like other, the other side now, I will use public transport. We be four for back, then go press me, I go press them. At times when I have money, I go pay for two for front so that I know go, I know go come the uh, feel the pressing very very well. But that doesn't it doesn't mean I cannot rent a car. Do you understand? It doesn't mean I can't rent a car. I can rent a car, go out with it. How many times do I go out, uh, go out in a day, or in a week, or in a month? But I'll be living fake life. The more you live the fake life, the more people expect from you. Do you understand? So what am I trying to say? All these online people, online content creators, calm down. May God use you. You never blow. You the carry bouncers. You are generating enemies for yourself and your family. If they can't get to you, they can, they can get to your 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 what, what is it called? They can get to your innocent parents in the village, or siblings, or brothers and sisters. And when they start charging you for ransom. You may not be able to pay it because you are living fake life. Don't endanger the life of your family because you are a content creator or because you are earning $50, $50 online. We are together. Don't mention. I hope this small video will give you a little sense. Please share. Tell somebody to tell somebody that a lot of celebrities are endangering the, the life of their family members in the name of living celebrity life. In the name of living fake life. Do you understand what I'm saying here today? <laughs> we are together. Share the video. Everybody, let's go. Now, yeah, it is still. It is I did here. I get money.